Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. If you're new, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel grow. And before we get started, I'm not a medical doctor. I don't make any medical claims. This is all based on my own personal journey, so please do your homework first. And uh, yeah, so today marks the uh, week 206 uh, update, and I'm uh, happy to say that uh, I want to say thank you for all the people that uh, have been following me along from the very beginning and for all you new people Thank you for coming in and uh, Yeah, so it's, we ended our fourth year on the weight loss journey on uh, August 17th and today is uh, August 19th and today uh, We're actually starting our fifth year on weight loss and we're going to continue with the weight loss journey the uh, back in the 2020 and uh, the early days I was well over 360 pounds and I didn't know really what my exact weight was back then. I should have kept one of those doctor slips when they give you a printout. But as far as I can remember, I was like 367 pounds. And over the, over the course of the last four years, I managed to, uh, the, the lowest I've been was 200 pounds. And I, I hadn't been under 200 pounds, but pretty close. And uh, so at one point in my journey over maybe a year, a year and a half, I was like 167 pounds down. And today I'm, I'm back up to 250 pounds and you know I'm trying my my hardest to, to maintain and keep the weight off and you know it's been really tough on Donna and I as most of you know it's like a, it's tough on everybody with the economy and times I have to budget my food accordingly to what Donna and I like and then you know stretch out meals that Donna and I do like so uh and i'm still looking for a job most of you know and uh hopefully something will break pretty soon for me and um uh, i'm just taking one day at a time now yesterday it was pouring raining out i decided to go walking in the morning it was like a light drizzle but i went anyways and as i got closer and closer to the downtown and up and around a couple of streets it started downpouring up i have a couple of photographs behind me and uh yeah so it's been one uh, unusual week this past week and uh, the last three months uh, going back to uh, Donna's appointments back in July as you recall she had she had like about 15 doctor appointments as I recall two, two times in the emergency room in less than a week through one time that ambulance had to pick her up and then I got a bill the other day $2,500 and uh, I'm responsible for $250 of it which is just bad but when you're a senior struggling it's, it's going to be hard. And then the computer went on me in last month, and that charged me uh, $300 for a computer repair. My uh, power supply went on me. It, just, it was like $70 for a pot, and then the labor cost. And uh, so then the other thing that happened, uh, actually, uh, this past Thursday, I was on my way to a funeral. A dear friend of ours passed away. She was 92, and she, was, she attended our wedding. We, we had a lot of uh, Foxwoods and bingo trips together. And it was a couple of towns over. The funeral was at 10 in the morning, and I was driving the car, and everything was fine. And uh, I must have hit a nail or a rock or something like that on the right tire. It took out the right tire, and the car veered off to the right and slammed up against the curbside. And it scraped the uh, both rims, and it took out the back tire. But when it initially hit the uh, curbside, the back tire was fine. So I, I, when the cars all cleared up coming in from the left, I saw a side street that I went on. I called up AAA and, and uh, they came down. They replaced the donut with the tire. I called up my sister because I didn't know if I needed, if, you know, if she was she was going, but she would have brought me down there. And uh, I was fine. Told her she could go home after they came and replaced the tire for me and stuff like that. So I get down and I go down a little further, right in front of the fire police station, and uh, the, the other back tire blew out. And uh, I called AAA back up, I had to wait another hour, and I, I requ this time I re requested a tow because I only had one tire for the uh, donut. So they swapped off the donut to the back, to the bad tire to the front, and then they, he towed me to the garage, and I got four, two tires for the car. Got uh, the tow, and then the uh, front end alignment, and they, they swapped out the tires when they do a uh, complete reversal of the tires. That whole episode cost me $600, and uh, I didn't have any cash. My credit card, everything is maxed out. And uh, the AAA, they only charged me 25 for towing it for the whole thing. They were fantastic, by the way. So if you need roadside assistance, I would definitely go with AAA, because you never know when you might need them like we did. 
And they were pretty they were pretty quick actually. So they towed the car back into Lemister where I live at a garage and I told the guy at the gas station that I didn't have any money and they had something to call pay later or something like that. So we uh, I logged into the website and we got approved and I bought two brand new tires and, and anyway the whole thing cost me six hundred but now I got another bill that I can't afford to pay. So it's like, you know, when it rains, it pours, you know, and, you know, Murphy's Law, if anything can happen, will go wrong, it will happen. And then that, that's typically how that day particular went. Went back home, laid down on the bed, <laughs> fell asleep. The next thing I know, I got up on the other side of the bed and say, okay, let's start this whole day all over again and put it behind us. So that's where I'm putting all this behind us and along with everything that happened for this past four years behind us, good or bad. So, um, so what do you so the, I'm upset of all that crap. Uh, yeah, so Donna and I went to Bingo Friday night. She didn't win nothing. Another great crowd. My cat's been fine. He's been a little. Uh, he's been fine. I I, I took him to the uh, end of this past week to have his nails done. She only charged me fifteen, but she said she'd be tiring. So now in September or October, so now I got to find somebody else to cut his nails. And uh, yeah, I, could, I know I know I can cut it myself, but I don't feel comfortable cutting a cat's nails because he, he won't stay still for me too much. At least for another person, he's got no choice that knows how to handle cats. And I'm afraid if I chop off his nails, I might chop them off a little bit too low. But, um, yeah, it was going along definitely good. Uh, I thought maybe it's starting in September, I'm going to be rebooting my system over there. My uh, Everything's going to be rebooted to, um, y you know, show you how, it, like, like if it was the very first day of starting keto. And, or you know, a weight loss program and what to do and how to go about doing it. And even being on a budget like we are, Donna and I. Yeah, I think it's going to get better for us. I fully believe in that. But, you know, until, until that day happens, I got to keep, uh, you know, uh, buying the non-organic foods and buying processed foods that I, you know, have no choice because I, you know, again, we don't know, do keto. And, you know, and, and uh, when I'm fully involved with the ketogenic lifestyle, like I'll make chicken, but then she likes to have a side dish, like carby stuff. Like, like I, I don't want to have that, you know. I can make chicken for me and chicken for her. And eat mine with cauliflower, you know, a keto approved vegetable or, or uh, and something like that. But, you know, sometimes I have to have regular American spaghetti and, and I don't like doing that because it totally messes my whole system up. And But I, I've been doing an awful lot of walking to compensate any cal unwanted calories I've been ca packing in. And uh, so far for this month, I got 48 miles of walking in. And uh, I'm still trying to get 100 miles of walking in, you know, but... You know, I'm not making, using uh, rain now as an excuse. I go out there every day, no matter what, even if it's only a mile, mile and a half, or on on the city block and come home. You know, problem is every time I'm walking, people pull over and they stop to me, they talk to me for an hour, hour and a half, and next thing I know, it's kind of taken away from my time. That's why sometimes I like to go walking away from the city. And if you know, if you live locally, I'm, you know, I'm always looking for a walking buddies. And, and you know, I would suggest it. If you're new to weight loss and you want to what to do for exercises, well, Ron, I, I, I got a bad back, I got all this going on. And you go, just go walking, even if it's only a mile, a mile and a half a day. You just walk up and down the street, and then the next day, walk up and down the other street, you know, and just double up every day, and eventually you'll be up to three to five miles a day like me. And, uh, yeah, I, when I was, um, over the last four years ago on weight loss, when I first started, I had bipolar depression, I, I had sleep apnea, I had lymphedemia in my right leg, I had ex ex eczema, which is a bad case of psoriasis, uh, on my right leg area, and it was all swollen and all that, and the sleep apnea, and I was always tired all the time. All that went away when I lost the weight. Even today, all that stuff is gone. I no longer have depression or anything like that. Yeah, we've, we've had a couple of... Uh, you know, issues in these past couple of months, but it's part of life and you learn to live and you learn to evolve and you learn to grow from it. And, uh, you know, every day you just hope the next day is better than the previous day and hope you get to see another day. Yeah, so I haven't been able to put too many recipes up lately because they, um, you know, I just haven't had in the money, the budget, anything, you know, I'm living off of basically eggs and ground beef and that sort of thing. So when I, you know, as I get a little money, money cash, is, money starts freeing up, I'll start putting out some recipes for you guys. I'm, I'm going to start making a few more of those shopper recipes from time to time and put those up and show you what you can actually have with it. And uh, so be watching for some more videos. I'm starting in September. I'm going to start going back to some of my older videos. And if you see anything irrelevant that you guys might enjoy, I'll probably have an opening and then let it play out to the, to the end. And uh, we'll see. You can, that way you can get an idea on how I was able to lose all my weight. 
I don't want to go back to that type of system. But the problem is it's been so expensive with the food and everything, you know, we hope something breaks pretty soon. So, you know, once they secure a job and I'm happy with it and make a little bit of money from it, then I'll be able, uh, we'll be fine. We're fine anyways there, but it's just the idea there is I don't want to go off of my weight loss plan there because of the economy. And that's what the problem has been. And that's, and that's why I picked up a significant amount of weight. But overall, I've been very happy with my weight loss and my weight, um, uh, what I mean by that is, you know, I'm still down, I'm down into an extra large shirt and this is still feeling kind of loose and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm still at a 38 pants from being in a size uh, six shirt and size uh, 60 pants size when I first started in 2020. So I got that to be thankful for. But when we start posting more videos on September 1st, I'll have a whole new set of measurements and weights. And as I recall, too, also the reason why I was very successful when I was weighing myself every week and I was putting a scale photograph up for you guys every week. And I'm going to go, starting in September, I'm going to be going back to that type of things, so hopefully together. And I know um, with, with God's help and your help, that you and I can get through our journey together and continue to support uh, me and support you. Now, um, I have a cash app below the, uh, in the show more area. You know, you're welcome to donate me a coffee. A couple of bucks would be great. Uh, somebody did donate me $20 for my birthday, so thank you so much for that. I had a birthday on August 1st. And uh, I was able to buy a coffee and a few times, and I went to the uh, local coffee shop that I enjoy going to. But uh, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say. I'll probably set this up as a premiere, and uh, you know, if you, if you have any questions for me, don't be afraid to ask. And uh, other than that, you guys have an amazing day, and I love you. Uh, God loves you. Have an amazing day, and be watching for the next video.